for both teams. First, Aurelius Osman. As of today, we have Aurelius with the top father in the top lane. We have Uprising, followed by Acerola in the jungle, Cobra in the mid lane, Bola and Tyr as the bot lane. So Tiger is the is the one to to be, you know, and the coach is Euler. Aveda, please let us know in the other side. In the other side, we have Sword in the top lane, Ravy in the jungle, Black Angel in, in mid lane, Shade. As ADC and uh, it's Whiplash as support. We have also a uh, Roven, the top laner, as the coach. And in the soup, we have Ty. A legendary player that is Roven's word. It's okay. it's been a lot oh of time. My oh, God. here are the predictions. And as we Not already said, you know. the fate didn't pay today. Malasunto is trolling yeah. us. He is speaking Aurelius, same as we are doing it. So, well, this is the predictions for this game. Let's go to the phase of picks and bans and review all the different picks and the decisions and the strategy for the both teams. Here we have, as you already know, this is the first uh, match of the day. Aurelius Esports against Fuego. So, guys, first we are seeing the... Um, the bands for both of the teams. First, we can see Swain from Aurelius Esports and from Fuego is gonna be Lucian. It's it's difficult. It's difficult. I'm going to tell the chat and I'm going to do a little bit of Spanglish. Es muy difícil para nosotros. Es muy complicado para nosotros el tratar de hacerlo todo en inglés. Puede que hagamos intermitente, no para incluir también ambas regiones. Público, en realidad, sí, porque... también por el público. But Cabeira, tell me. We don't have Swain, we don't have Diego, we don't have Lucian. What's what's happening, man? Okay, uh, uh, we start with the target ban to Sword. Uh, we all know he's uh, known for the Swain, also for the Rumble. It, it's uh, his best champions. We also see the when it's banned out. Um, Seri is still open. We have Wukong still for the jungle, even the Lilia, for example. That can be a good answer for Aurelius in the first pick. Uh, a lot of power picks. I I think we still have. We even have the Yumi that some teams are yeah. uh, making really hard prior in the champion. Um, so we're waiting okay, for the Cartus. last ban. They attack with the Cartus, uh, a champion that uh, teams like Red Rooster, for example, uh, were playing a lot. Uh, we haven't seen him in a while, uh, but maybe it's a high prior for Fuego as well. Is yeah, it, you know. I, I just have a, I a quick question uh, to production. Uh, is it Mega gonna play? Because we are seeing Mega right now in the roster with a uh, Ruinic Sword, so I have this question for them. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, he he, he play. oh, oh, Becario is answering in English as well, so let's go. Here he he see took it the serious. First, yes, <laughs> here we see the first pick from Aurelius. It's gonna be the Seri, uh, the ADC as well. Uh, okay. Ah, okay. 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 Uh, because uh, due to this change of the roster in last uh, second, uh, they have one penalization of, of one of the bands. So this is why they didn't ban in the third uh, ban. And well, we can see right now they already pick the AD carry. Uh, it's gonna be Jinx and well, Lily as well. It's pretty uh, interesting, huh? Because uh, they took Seri. Oh, I mean Aurelius took Seri as the first pick. It's uh, one of the ADCs that we've seen the most. Is usually seen as uh, as paired with Yumi. So it's pretty interesting to to have it in the first pick, leaving the second pick to the jungle. It looks like it's going to be a Jarban, Cabeira. Yeah, the answer is going to be Jarban. Y para los que están preguntando, por si acaso, actualizarlos un poquitito, estamos casteando en inglés parte de este game porque, y pues, Fuego es de Curazao. Ahí y tenemos, porque puedo también. También, pero <risa> eh, tenemos por ahí a, a Raby, que bueno, el día de hoy aparentemente no va a jugar, pero es de habla inglesa, lo mismo Bryson, entonces para incluir un poquitito, ¿no? También... Pa para incluir a toda nuestra gente del Caribe, yes. que es, normalmente habla inglés, que le debemos una, ¿no? Aunque sea, aunque sea un partidito, pero bueno. Eh, we continue, the pick four of Rising is the Gunplank, he has played this champion a lot this season, 
in, and with good results. So they put really high pride on this champion. The Jarbang is like a little surprise for me because it's not that meta. It's not that like a prison in the meta, but maybe he feels comfortable with the matchup or he just wants to make pressure in the early levels, he gank a lot in the lanes and, and put the team ahead. And we need to remember Aurelius tends to pick a lot of scaling in the lanes. We already see the gun plan, we already see the Seri. We have two scaling lanes, so it's kind of difficult, in my opinion, for the Jarvan to play. He needs uh, lanes with pressure, with kill potential, so he can really like make an impact in the game. We also see the pick for Sword in the top lane is not going to be the Rumble, of course, because they have the Lilia and that's a lot of, of FP damage. It's going to be the NAR for Sword in the blind pick. Oh, no, it's an answer for the GP, of course. And now the bans are Jumi, the Renata, the Beggar, and the action. It's pretty interesting that see uh, an action ban is pretty usually seen as a counter matchup against some of those uh, assassins champions. No, today we have a Lulu. It's going to be incredibly. It's a bullying that's going to scale really, really well. I mean, it's a Jinx with Lulu is almost a no-brainer. No, it's like um, taking a shotgun and putting it like I don't know a triple barrel is going to be a Nautilus for the bullying of Aurelius. It's pretty interesting that they're going for a CC intake, more like an Enchanter support for this bullying for this city. And let's see which is going. Uh, I mean, who is going to be the last pick for? The team of Aurelius, we're going to expect to be a mid laner. Probably it's going to be something like a Syndra, something like, I don't know, maybe an Enchanter like LeBlanc. Uh, what do you expect, Sindana? Oh, I was I was reading the, the chat and seeing everyone <laughs> super surprised because of our English stream. Here we can see that this is go it's going to be Silas, so the last pick from Aurelius. And let's see oh, the, okay. the last pick from Fuego. Um, I guess that uh, in this case we're gonna have uh, some interesting ultimates from okay. Diego, and at the end, oh, it's gonna be so Tristana at the mid lane, I guess. Yeah, uh, I like this okay. adaption from Fuego. They need an AP mid laner, so the Lilia can like uh, be comfortable in the game. Um, and be the solo AP and do a lot more damage. I think it's interesting that Cobra made the blind pick in Silas. He has some good ultimates like the Nar, uh, maybe even the the Lulu can be useful. Um, even, even the Lilia one is pretty pretty useful, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but the Tristana comes really good here. I think in the matchup, it, it's going to be hard for Silas to uh, get a kill. Maybe it's a lane where Acerola can play and like a gang can be really aggro with the Jarvan because the top lane is not the best in the early game and the bot lane has some kill prior the the support answer in the Nautilus versus the Lulu I think is really good Nautilus is always useful with the um, uh, matchup versus enchanters but uh, you need like time with the Seri to scale. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of damage in the early game, so it's kind of hard in the first levels for Acerola to make an impact. Before before we start the game, uh, I'm going to tell to all the speaking Spanish community. Le voy a decir a todos los muchachos que hablan en español, no se preocupen. Vamos a hacer partes en inglés. Vamos a hacer partes en español. Probablemente las team fights y algunas partes más relajadas donde podamos explicar lo sucedido van a ser en español. Pero nuevamente les recuerdo, estamos tratando de devolverle un poco a esa gente hermosa que nos apoya, que normalmente habla en inglés, ¿no? Así es, entonces... They say no, they say only want to stream in English from now. Ok, <laughs> to you're gonna learn to English that. today, you know? <laughs> yes, yes, we are like Dora the Explorer, so you're gonna <laughs> learn English with us. But, well, welcome everybody to the first match of the day. It's gonna be Aurelius against Fuego. Let's enjoy this casting in <laughs> Spanish because you're gonna love it. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna love it. Well, uh, welcome everybody to the first game of the day. Today we have Aurelius against Fuego. We are doing a Spanglish stream today, so we are going to hit like a billion uh, viewers. But Caveira, 
how are you going, man? I'm looking for Bottas at uh, this moment. The the idea of Dora, it's really interesting. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, we're already in the game, uh, passive early game in these first levels. Um, it's only the Fuego team uh, tries to look for Cobra, maybe um, do some damage to him in the first minute, so he gets chunked and Black Angel has a lot of more of kill pressure. He even comes with Ignite and press the attack really aggressive by black like angel an assassin, in the mid lane. Right? yeah he wants to look for the kill maybe on level two where tristana spikes really hard with the a rocket jump and the bomb so cobra has to respect a lot in this lane and wait for us a roll in the mid lane uh to don pajaro nous pouvons parler les français mais je ne veux pas le... oh look at that Look at that predictions. Everybody's going to a radio, so I be careful, white flesh, because you're going to be hooked by that Nautilus. Today we are going to to put a little bit of all the language that we can speak. We're going to ask Sindana to speak a little bit of Portuguese after this game. So we all can get involved, you know. By the moment we are seeing a pretty standard situation with the jungles. They are going to do a full clear of the jungle, maybe trying to do a little bit of a four level um intake. But by the moment, it's going to be a pretty, pretty normal game. Maybe a little bit uh, slow phase. We see in the prediction 95% versus 5% in, in the votes of the chat. I think it's really expected. We even in the in the casting team, all the predictions are for Aurelius. They have the stronger team. They are on you know, first in the in the table so it's kind of hard for fuego to get this game we even saw fuego with a decent performance yesterday but not what we were expecting so they didn't get the the game the win again and they are almost in relegation you know they have yeah, to yeah, fight yeah. that that point uh, one win can change everything for fuego and go from in seventh position to maybe five or something and with that they can avoid the relegation it's a pretty strict race to the relegations it's going to be a pretty fun one to end this season but by the moment i want to remember everybody that you can use the hashtag elements lol to send us a message it's going to be either on twitch or in twitter you can send us a message, uh, a message using the hashtag elements lol Remember, hashtag elements low to send us a message so you can appear in the screen alongside of the game. By the moment, we have a, a slow face game. It's going Ooh, to be nice. a Triple pretty bar. pretty interesting stunt because we have you know, uh, an art that's going to be like a little bit more of aggro to the gunplank. Oh, hey, here we have Tristana doing some work with that bomb. And remember, there you go, the hashtag elements low to send us a message. By the moment, it's going to oi. be careful because here is Mega. They took on the rising, it's going to die. The flash that is good. Oh, the orange that saves that gun plan is going to live by another moment. That was a good try, Cabeira, but there's no kill yet. Yeah, and Fuego wastes the flash in the top lane, so he's not going to be able uh, to use that summoner spell in a while. And in this case, Rising didn't, so they don't even trade the Sonar in the top lane. Rising simply just walks out and it's the orange, so a pretty good trade in the top lane for Aurelius. And now Acerola, without getting involved in the lanes, it has a little advantage because the Jarvan with the flash, it's always a little pressure for the lanes. They know that uh, the uh, combo with the, the with the flash can be a kill pretty easily, so they need to respect that. And to do it a little bit for our Spanish-speaking community, 
eh, fue un buen intento por parte de Mega y usando el destello para tratar de pegarle todo el daño a Bryson, pero aparece el Top Father, ¿no? salvándose con su destello y el remover escorbuto de esa naranja, de momento una partida muy igualada para el minuto en el que estamos, apenas 200 de oro arriba a la escuadra de Aurelius, y yo diría Cabeira que es gracias a la pasiva de la Q de Gamplan, ese parlamentar que te da monedas y también doblones de plata a la hora de asesinar súbditos y por cierto, estaba viendo la itemización y no me encanta que Black Angel haya buscado rushear este Hextrinker, ¿sabes? Eh, el único verdadero AP que tiene la composición de Aurelius es el Silas. Es cierto que Bola va a hacer un poquitito de daño AP, por ahí Tyr también, pero no lo suficiente como para que amerite un Hextrinker. Y si piqueaste la tristada como counter pick para el... Para el Silas y sientes que necesitas el Hex Drinker para ganar la línea, es un poco dudoso, ¿no? Pero bueno. Eh, we, we're going to continue in this game. Minute 6 with 30 seconds. And we still don't have that first blood. The CS advantage goes for Bola as useless. Uh, The as, Bola true, ¿no? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really common to see in Bola with the with the advantage in the CS. Also in the mid lane, as expected with Black Angel, he has a lead. The Lilia that clears the jungle really fast in comparison to the Jarvan also has an advantage. And Oresin is getting an advantage versus Ruben's ward in the top lane, which is kind of weird because the Nara is a ranged matchup. You picked it also as a counter lane and You all already like ganked the lane. Um, it didn't happen a lot in the gank, but uh, you used the resources in the top lane, and it's kind of weird that Sword is getting behind in the CS. Yes, yes, it's pretty difficult, no, for this uh, matchup, for, uh, or it's supposed to be too very difficult for the gang plan. But uh, I was thinking, Cabrera, it's uh, it's pretty odd that they they pick Lulu into a Seri because Seri, you know, that takes the, um, the shields away yeah. from you. So it's a pretty interesting intake that uh, took Fuego. Be careful because he comes later. Yeah, there is still, they took it. <laughs> they hook to the wall to escape. Be careful because uh, by the zone is going to be that Jarvan that can do a counter gun. We have the difference in gold. Thank you, Becario. And see, it's like um, 200 gold against in this top lane uh, in favor of that gunplank and in the bot lane is uh, um, it's bigger. You know, it's 400 gold. It's going to be very difficult to that uh, Jinx to um, to get in her fit. You know, it's going to be pretty difficult for this bot lane to oh, look at this. Everybody is in the RM. We're going to have and everyone fighting in the mid lane. Be careful of that because the team of the golden dragon since taking this herald yeah it's, lo it's looking like the first herald is going to aurelius mm, and no answer we see on the map for the fuego team they're going to pressure the bowling tower maybe get some plates for shade in shade is getting a little behind it's supposed to match the scaling with the seri uh, versus the jinx But the CS difference can be a little problem. Probably the plates are all are going to go for ball as well. So uh, that difference is going Here to Here comes grow. the gank. Yeah. Looks like Tyr is going to look for the flash. No. Never yeah. mind. Doesn't It was a bait. <laughs> yeah. He, It was he, a bait. He was trying to look for the hook, but he couldn't find it. So it doesn't happen anything in the bot lane one plate goes for shade also one plate already uh, it was for bola so a lot of pressure for aurelius in the bot lane that is going to make bola really really strong in the late game but let's see we, we have bola in almost uh, half an item he, ha he has the boots it's going to be the berserker boots so he's going to do a little bit of more damage at the time to doing a team fight. Look at that Shay with those rockets taking away that control ward. But it's going to be a very slow phase, maybe towards the mid, uh, towards the mid game. Or to I look at this Black Angel going in with that rocket jump. 
looking forward to do some damage. He even he even used that ignite cover. Is going to go a little bit damage, but he's okay. We still don't have the first kill. Cabrera, what is happening? Why they don't want to kiss? Why they don't? Why they don't even look in at each other? Not even in the in the bad way. Oh, look at that hook! The flash from Whiplash that is good. It's going to be a Herald in the bot lane, Cabrera. Yeah, as I told you, they're going to use the Herald in the bot lane so get so they can get Bola ahead in this lane. Ooh, it's look 240 at that. gold for Bola in this Herald. More plates for Aurelius, or here comes the ultimate for uh, the Nautilus and the Lilia. It looked like it's just a trade. It's going in that Jarban took away with the Cataclysm. It's going to be the first kill in the hands of Seri. He's going first to go one. away. It's going to be an air from that Gunplan. Let's go. It's a double kill for the Bola Truco. Taking away the kills. We were talking about it. We were waiting about it. That hook that is bad. He didn't even touch it. He didn't even look at it in a bad manner. But we see Mega trying to do a little bit of damage on the Nautilus. As it always still by the song. It's going to look like it's that the last one. And Caveira. I have bad news for you. It's starting to rain. I'm my clothes are in are out. I, I don't know what I'm doing yeah, to do, but I like more this game. With the light, I, I I'm going to call my my mom so she can take my she can pick up my clothes because yeah. they're going to get uh, a classic. You know, maybe it's a class. It's a Latin American classic. Yeah, you know, yeah. lots of moment uh, as we. See this game in the 12 minutes. The next dragon is already on the rift, and it's going to go for Fuego, I think. No answer for Aurelius. And I'm a little surprised that the Jarbank hasn't uh, been on the map a lot. You know, maybe he's going to look for more team fights soon. Boy, I be careful, dear. He's trying to get the kill, but that semilla arrogante. Vamos a meter un poquito de español para que no se me enojen. Va buscando la pelea. Cobro que agarra mal para Black Angel. El combo de bandera es bueno. It's going to be a kill for Acerola. Another one takes Aurelius. And they are starting to go ahead, Cabeira. Yeah, three kills versus zero in this first in 13 minutes. Uy, intentaban cazar a Mega en mala posición, pero al final no lo consiguen. Tiene que gastar el destello. No flash for Mega in the jungle. And, and not a lot of pressure also from the Lilia. The Jarvan is going to appear more in these minutes. He also already has an item. Cuidado con Shade que está en mala posición. Lo van a terminar cazando. El hook es buenísimo. Terminan cazando también a Whiplash. La persecución es por parte de Bola que ya tiene cuatro asesinatos. Four kills. Already for Bola, double kill in this play, and also the tower I think is going to fall for Fuego. It's going to be an easy one for Fuego. Bola is going to go even far away in this bone lane. It's going to be pretty difficult for Shade and Whiplash to to get on their feet. Look at that! It's almost three thousand gold difference. Only in the AD carries Cabeira is going to be pretty difficult for the team of Fuego to get back on their feet, to get back on this game. But I think there is still a hope, you know. As Malasunto always says, siempre hay fe, siempre la fe paga. He's going to be careful. Look at Cobra. He's going to use the ultimate from the three standards to get it away. It's going to be, look at that difference of plates. 10 versus 2 plate. In 1k, 600 gold for... Aurelius and 324 Fuego. A lot of difference in, in the plates that we also can see like it's a really, really hard game for Fuego. You have a city with 7,000 gold already. Really, really fat versus a Jinx that it's only in 4, almost 5k. Two items for Aurelius. Meanwhile, Shade only has one item. It's kind of difficult. And what I told you earlier, I, like, oh, I Black, Angel. Black Angel, he has the ultimate. I don't think he Oy. should be in trouble. But he has to waste the flash in that play. What I was telling you earlier, like, in this game, Black Angel rushed the Hex Rinker. He lost a lot of damage. He also hasn't been, like, in lethal. 
probably he hasn't even used this item in the game only the time he was killed and that didn't change like he he died as well so i don't think this is really good from him and he made a mistake in this game building the head finger as a first item it's going to be pretty difficult for this Tristana to even do damage, you know, because with that Hex Drinker, he's not even doing that much damage per second. Here we see Bola trying to get that tower, but we didn't saw it, Vicario, what's happening? You have some problem, because they took away Cobra. I think it's going to be a kill for the Tristana, we were talking about it. Ah, there you go, Vicario, thank you very much. Let's see, ah, he got ulted by the Lilia. Let's go. Arigato gozaimasu, becario son, for doing that <laughs> replay. We uh, we thank you a lot. And to all the people that are watching today, this English string of the elements league. Merci beaucoup. Je t'aime beaucoup to all all our friends. Thank you for sticking with us. I have to say, you know, you know that I have to say it every time I do an English yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, an English part. And thank you for, we are going to for do... sticking with us. Thank you for sticking with us. That's my that's maybe my my talk to me. You know, like headline. We love that guy. I love that guy. Uh, I, I love yeah. it a lot. You know, he, he's a good guy. But that's going to be, I think, my my talk to me is going to be thank you for sticking with us. Yeah, uh, and headline was one of the first that introduced this uh, like style of mixing English and Spanish. I love like doing the the game, the the cast with him in English. Some games in Tempest, maybe. Like, we can see him in the future, you know? Wow, yeah. we don't know. We don't, we don't know. know. We don't know, maybe. We don't know. I, I leave it there. Para, yeah. los que no habla, para los que no hablan inglés, por ahí, truena, ¿no? A ver si viene Hedda y nos visita. De momento, pongan uno en el chat si Pero ustedes bueno. también quieren, que quieren a, quieren a Hedda, ¿no? Yo quiero ver los unos en el chat. Ahí pega el cabezazo. Ese malevo loco carachón de la red. Tenemos que be careful, Black Angel, because they can do an initiation on you. They are going to take the tower. Meanwhile, they are pursuing Boda. We see even Mega Shade and Whiplash trying to do an initiation here in the mid lane. Look at that. That's um, that's a little bit of a spark. That that hurts a little bit by now. Bola, Bola, be careful, Bola, because he's going to take a little bit of damage. He's going to be the initiation from Nasser Bola. Nar from Ooh, Cobra is going to be a good one. They took the uh, Nar of the other team. Black Angel doing a little bit of war. We see the ultimate from the top father, but Bola is going to take another kill. We see Whiplash trying to get away. Shade is even to use the hill because he was a little bit damaged. We seeing that it's a good flash from part of the oh. Aurelius squad. The rocket from that team is not going to kill anybody. But it's going to be another team fight for the squad of Aurelius Caveira. I think if if Fuego played with this roster yesterday, maybe maybe they could get the win because the game was really really close. Even I mean, Raven had a really good game in, in the jungle with the team down. I think uh, he didn't made like a bad game yesterday. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe this change is good it's worth oh my god the damage from a racing get the father ahead oh my god i i can't believe what i just saw that <laughs> you, you even forgot the english part to say it it's yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of damage it's a lot of damage that have rising right now i mean he's the top father you know he's going to do this kind of tricks and for everybody wondering, para todos los que se preguntan si vienen llegando, estamos hablando en inglés porque se la debemos a toda esa gente bella y hermosa que nos apoya desde el Caribe, que normalmente habla inglés. Look at this, Bryson is going to try the fight. It's war that can't even do much. He's going to go away because he can't even stand the top father. We have a fed gun plan Caveira, and it's a scary one. Yeah, um, in the next minutes, we're probably just waiting for the objectives you know like aurelius i think they can force to fight in under the towers they just don't want to like uh, give unnecessary advantages the baron is going to spawn in the next few seconds and yeah it's just the the next objective for aurelius i don't think fuego can do almost anything in this play maybe try to steal it 
Let's see if they can do it. Hay que tener cuidado. Es Ward que va a perder el Mega Nar. It's going to be a very clutch one. Let's see what Mega does. Oh, the initiation for Azeroth is going to be a good one. Cheer that is following. Let's see all the damage. It's going to be for Seri. Truco, truco, truco. Dice bola. Y se mete a hacer todo el daño que puede. Let's see. Mega is going to be catch again. It's Ward that can go away. Bryson doing all the damage that he can. It's going to be a Black Angel one. It's going to be a kill. Tome el asesinato. Vemos el destello por parte de Black Angel. Ya me volví loco. Utilizando dos lenguajes. Esto va a ser otra pelea para, eh, para la escuadra de Aurelius. It's going to be another fight for Aurelius and they're going to start that Baron Nashor, Caveira. Yeah, Baron really free for Aurelius. They just lost the gameplay, but Fuego needs to go for the base and now the objective is really, really free. The damage from Bola is starting to hit a lot. And 0-1 in the AD carry for Aurelius. Now they get the Baron and they will push the side lane, they will push the, the mid lane and probably open the base. They get that first inhibitor and start closing the game because the gold advantage is really, really high. It's almost like 12k in favor of Aurelius and even the comp like outscales uh, the rival. So it's really, really hard this game for Fuego. They need to commit a lot of mistakes. Ay, it. Mega. It's going to be another kill. Mega, that is trapped with that Jarvan. is going to go away by the moment. I think he's going to escape. Nah, the combo that is good. Y para toda la gente que se está preguntando que para cuando viene el francés, déjenme terminar mis clases. Je peux parler un peu de français, mais je ne peux comprendre. Eh, je ne peux comprendre pas la totalité de le français. Ahí sí te van dando, ¿eh? Ahí, ahí sí me dejan solito, así que está difícil. Eh, vamos a ver si nos dan un premio, Caveira, por tratar de incluir a toda la raza, ¿no? Estamos metiéndole todo el poder que podemos para casear para ustedes, tanto en inglés como en español. De momento les pedimos que nos apoye, porque está bonito, ¿no? Siempre incluir a toda la raza. ¡Ay, el daño! Bola está loco. He's going... Vuelto aceite, diría Caveira. ¡Ay, Dios mío! Vuelto Clover en Viena. Está ese... Jugador, claro que sí. De momento, la presión que continúa por parte de Aurelius. They're going to get the ball lane tower. They already got the mid lane inhibitor. In the silence is called the ultimate from the NAR. A really, really good ultimate for the fight and in combination also with the Jarvan. Hi, NAR. For what, the what, ultimate. What? Oh, aquí viene una pelea, man. Vienen agarrando la pelea, agarraba mal parada nuevamente a Rubén eh, Y no se gana el MVP aunque querramos Mientras tanto el TPX es bueno, van a agarrar mal parado a la escuadra Acerola que sigue vivo ¡Ay! ¡Los están deleteando! Everybody looks like flies because I'm getting dead ¡Ay! ¡Look at that bola! ¡Truco! That is going to try to get the kills even in the fountain What are you doing, Bolinha? You don't even have to do this to get the MVP, man Why are you styling so much? He's trying to do a try hard one. He's going to get reported by his teammate because he's trying hard to try to get that MVP. But we look like it's going to be the finish of this or this game in English. They see, I, 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 the late change. You are not going to see another one. It's going to be a win for the squad of Aurelius Caveira. Sing it, sing it. We want to hear it. GG for Aurelius, they get the win pretty easily in this game, 17 versus 2 in the kills, 